What is up everybody? It's your girl Stephanie and thanks for joining me again. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Steph and on this channel we talk about everything fragrance except for this month because it's spooky season. In today's video, it's strictly fragrance, don't worry. But if you guys haven't caught my new like true crime little series that I'm doing, it's true crime, mystery, and fragrance. So I'm incorporating kind of um, best of both worlds when I'm doing those videos. It's only gonna be once a week. The rest of the, well, the other videos, or the other video for the week is gonna be just strictly fragrance. For those of you guys who are not into the true crime or being scared, it's okay, I got you. Today it's Strictly Fragrance and I wanted to share with you guys some rainy day perfumes. Now, we have been in a drought here in California, um, really, like it's been pretty bad and it's been hot, but the other day we actually had some rain and you guys know that, you know, my knee is bad, okay, I'm still out. Um, I will be getting an appointment with the doctor soon. I'm just waiting for my all my stuff to come in and then I'm gonna go straight to the doc See if he can fix me. I couldn't really enjoy it and like go out and whatever But it got me into thinking like what perfumes would I wear out in the rain? And so today's video is Perfumes that would work for a rainy day. So if you guys want to know what my picks are um, And what I chose then please keep on watching so the first one Sorry, you guys. I I just wanted to kind of just chat with you guys. Make this super casual. I actually have my list of perfumes here. And then I also have um, my tray just full of fragrances. Because I'm making two videos that are just more on the casual side, okay? I might even add a video here and there, okay? I had committed to two videos a week. But I might, I might sprinkle an extra one here and there, okay? So anyways, you guys, let me pull up my list oh and actually this is the first one so uh i will talk about notes in this one just because i think it'll be a lot better if i do okay so the first one that i have on my list for a rainy day okay i think that this would work if you have like rainy days that are more humid i think this one would work for that i think this one would also work for like rainy days where it's cold as well and this would even work beautifully for winter. Um, but let me read to you guys the notes of this fragrance, okay? And this fragrance is called Noir Ephesus. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's from the house of Frederick Mall. I've been like testing it, spraying it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember why I fell in love with this fragrance so much. So Noir Ephesus is, uh, it has top notes of orange geranium and rose middle notes of cloves nutmeg pepper and cinnamon and then the base notes are sandalwood patchouli cedar and vanilla this has some of my favorite notes you guys i i don't really have a lot of fragrances with geranium in them i don't think that i do um but i knew it gives it a spritzy quality uh to fragrances and just like all of the spices you guys this smells like a bar of like spicy soap kind of like irish like i kind of picture this as like smelling kind of like irish spring <laughs> oh my gosh it's so good sorry guys and i do get that rose and geranium combo along with all those spices it's just like i feel like this would be perfect for a rainy day i also this was also in like my um fragrances you can wear it in the office this is just beautiful i need a bottle of this if you are into like fresh spicy perfumes this is one that you need to you need to get your nose on like i need to know if there's like a dupe of this because i mean this price point frederick mall Y'all are killing my wallet, okay? <sighs> Anyways, that is Noir Ephesus from Frederick Mall. So that's my first pick for you guys. If you guys have that fragrance, let me know what you think. I, <sighs> it was a love at first sniff. When the lady at the counter showed it to me and she was like, I love wearing this on rainy days, I understood exactly what she meant. 
I, I literally. So the okay. next one that I have is a very well-known one. And you know, this one is well-known for a, for a good reason, okay? She's loved in the community. And this is Delina Exclusive. Delina Exclusive, my goodness. This is, this is a cashmere scarf. She is a look good. She's got her curves, okay? She's, she just serves looks. It's the most velvety, plush, softest, sweetest rose. Oh my goodness. Y'all already know, okay? So the, the notes to this one is lychee, pear, and bergamot at the top. Some of my favorite notes. Middle notes are Turkish rose, oud, and incense. I really don't get oud, you guys, at all. I do get some woodiness and the incense, for sure. And then in the base notes, you get vanilla, amber, and woody notes. I don't pick up on the oud, you guys. I think the oud in here is so light that I think it just gives it like a little bit of dimension to this fragrance. But this just feels like a warm cashmere scarf hugging you, being close to you. I definitely wouldn't recommend this for hot, humid heat. It might be a little too dense, a little too thick. But if it's crisp and cold outside, the air just like wafting through your hair, wafting through like your layers of clothing. Well, I mean light layers of clothing because, you know, the fall's not super cold, you know and it would be lovely in the cold weather. So this would be beautiful on a rainy day. Like I just picture this like on a romantic stroll with your man through the rain. You guys are both carrying umbrellas, you know, and it's like slightly drizzling. That's the type of rain I picture <laughs> for this fragrance right here. So the next one that we have is from the house of Mugler and that is Alien. Now, I was debating whether I should talk about Alien Essence Absolute or Alien, but I think if I'm talking about hot and humid rain, I think that this is like just better for both. Um, I love Alien for the fall time. Fall into like, I mean, honestly, all year round, <laughs> but I think I prefer wearing Alien more in the fall and winter time. It's so beautiful and mysterious. There's like this like, this like almost like subtle seduction. It's not like a girl who just showing it all off. You know what I mean? Like I feel like she's like subtle. She, you know, she may seem sweet or whatever, but she's into like being the dominant one. You know, she's, She's got a little, kink, she's got her little kinks to her, okay? That's the type of lady that I see wearing this. Also too though, that was weird. And the jasmine in here is just, it's so cozy. It's, it's so cozy. Like even though it's a, like almost like a, like a cold jasmine, I feel like it's slightly warmed, warmed and like, comforting like it has like this almost comforting nature like like she seems cold and evil you know but there's something about her that lures me in and i trust her and i think it's the amber and woods in this that kind of let me trust miss alien eau de parfum i just picture myself wearing this on a rainy day but yeah that is alien eau de parfum from mugler the next one that I have is a favorite of mine, and it's been on almost every list, you guys. And this is BDK Gris Charnel. This is perfect for the rain. I think this one is more, though, for colder rain. Definitely not for the hot, humid rain. Uh, this might be a little overwhelming, cloying, headache-inducing, but for the cold, just with like all the spicy, notes going on and everything like that in this fragrance i feel like it would just be perfect this is a woody spicy fragrance and the top notes here are fig cardamom and black tea 
And then you get for the middle notes, iris, bourbon, vetiver, and the base notes, sandalwood and tonka bean. Now, the most prominent thing that I get here is definitely cardamom, iris, sandalwood. And I do get the black tea as well. Actually, I get like most of the notes. I don't really get the vetiver though. There's this beautiful sweetness to this fragrance. It's so addictive. It's so addictive, so comforting to me. This is like not even me being outside. This is like me being indoors, you know, reading a book, whatever that is. Sometimes I do read books though, okay? She's a paperless girl though. I have my little Kindle that, that I do read on, but I, you know, it still counts, right? I definitely would picture myself being indoors. I'm cozied up and I'm like by my window pane reading a book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what I would wear. Um, I mean, you could even do this outdoors, but what I love about Grisha and all the most you guys is the iris. The iris in here, I think, is so beautifully done because it keeps this from being super masculine, okay? This does lean a little masculine in the, kind of, like, in the warmer weather, but when it gets to the colder weather and it's more crisp outside, I notice that this fragrance, the iris pulls, and it's this really beautiful lipsticky iris. And I smell it right now. Mmm. I love this fragrance, you guys. I, I Like, I've made a dent in this one. You can see. Grease Charnel BDK. All right, let's move on. Mm -mm. So the next one that I have is a fruity fragrance. Okay, for all my fruity fragrance lovers out there, I got you guys. I got you guys because I love fruity fragrances too. And this one is Lolita Land from Lolita Lempica. This one is more... It's way better suited for the colder rain, in my opinion. Literally, it's like a really syrupy peach juice. This is literally what I get with like this hint of spritziness, but when you when you spray it, you get that spritziness, but on my skin, it dries it just dries down to a very beautiful dense peach fragrance really beautiful really delicious and i absolutely love this fragrance let me read to you guys the hella notes this has here we go there, on the top there's bellini italian mandarin pepper orange grapefruit lime lemon literally all the citruses <laughs> Middle notes are white peach, plum, black currant, jasmine sandback, jasmine, magnolia, and rose. And then in the base notes, you get Madagascar vanilla, licorice, benzoin, white musk, and sandalwood. In in the cap though, it does smell a little like there's like a little funk to it. I don't know what it is. But trust me, you guys, when I say on skin, this is beautiful. I find that it projects very well, has very great performance. I just, this fragrance, I wasn't sure about it when I smelled it. You know, you guys, I, I, I really wasn't sure, but I'm glad I gave it a chance. And I'm glad it's in my collection. Perfect for cold weather, definitely cold weather, don't wear this in the heat. Don't say that I told you to wear it in hot, humid rain because I'm telling you right now, no. This is for the cold. All right. Next. Okay. Next fragrance that we got is one of my favorites recently. Can't put it down, okay? Um, now, when you guys see my bottle, you guys are going to be like, Brad, I thought you couldn't put it down. Like, why aren't you missing a bunch of sprays? It's because... Girl, I was I had a, a travel spray that I recently gave away to one of my besties out there, Cynthia. Hi, girl, if you're watching. If you're not, fake friend. No, I'm just kidding. I'm I'm just playing, guys. But anyways, I know not everyone's into fragrance. It's fine. Um, this one right here is Coffee Break. Okay, I used up over half of that little um 
of my little like sample size it was probably it was probably smaller than this one right here <laughs> i've already worn it i've worn it so many times this fall you guys i can't i can't even count on my fingers and toes just how many times <laughs> but trust me when i say that i've worn it a bunch of times and the lavender in here is like oh my gosh it's so good i'm like really into lavender lately like can't tell me nothing okay the lavender in here is so beautifully done okay this is a very lactonic fragrance okay like i don't understand how people don't pick up on coffee or like a creamy like a heavily creamy latte i don't know how people don't pick it up my husband's like i don't smell no coffee my friend Cynthia's like i don't smell no coffee but i love it <laughs> she was like but i love it though i love how it smells i pick up on like a frothy creamy lavender latte that is exactly what i get from this fragrance but you have to love lavender you guys because the lavender in here is above all like the most prominent but this really milky like creamy coffee base is just oh it just it makes this a love for me like i love it it's so comforting so cozy if you wear this out if you stay in while watching the rain if you uh, i think this would even still work for the heat because of the lavender it adds this freshness to it so i feel like no matter what type of rainy situation you got it's perfect for it so here's the here's the notes you guys so we got top notes of pepper orange blossom and patchouli don't get any of that don't get any of that here we go middle notes lavender coffee milk tonka bean cyan benzoin cipri oil i'm just gonna say cipri oil because there's another <laughs> another name in there that i'm like what okay and then the base notes are vanilla cedar vetiver you guys these are some of my favorite notes i think i'm just like i'm into it i'm into you I love coffee break and uh, it'll forever be in my collection. I love it so so much. So yeah, that is coffee break from Maison Marcella. If you love lavender, you love coffee, you love milk, okay? You better check that out. Next fragrance that we got, okay? We only have a little sample here, okay, on the channel. I wish I wish the situation was different, actually. Because okay, in my last video, <laughs> in my in my true crime series video, I had said oh, I'm not sure about this one, but literally I've been obsessed with the lady. Don't know why. I haven't even sprayed this one, you guys. Like, I'm supposed to wear it this week, so I'll probably give it a try tomorrow. But this one is Bibliotech from Byredo. Okay, I only have a sample, and I would spray it, you guys, but I guaranteed there's probably only like three four sprays max in here left like i kid you not you see this maybe two maybe two okay but this fragrance right here is strong there's a little bit of this animalic touch okay that kind of makes this like a little bit like sexy okay but this is a very fruity slightly spicy waxy powdery kind of fragrance so let me read to you guys the notes that are in this fragrance and then i'm gonna tell you guys literally why i i just picture it to be perfect for like rainy days so the notes in here are plum and peach Okay, that's where the fruitiness is coming from you get middle notes of violet and peony and then the base notes are leather vanilla patchouli and musk i am not like really that into leather you guys but in here it's so beautifully done it's so gorgeous that like it just makes me smile okay and the reason why this makes me smile is because literally in my head this is what i picture okay i picture this girl walking through the rain okay and she's going to the library and she has her leather she has a leather like a uh, book bag okay 
like those old school book bags that have the little handle okay this is her she has her her little like light academia outfit no her dark academia outfit let's her dark academia outfit she's all bundled up she has on her cute little lip she's wearing some sort of really pretty like like this really pretty kind of fruity fragrance and she's going to the library and she's sitting by the window pane while it's raining reading her book and she only reads paperback books because that like what like why even read a book if you're not going to experience the whole experience of having a, a literal book in your hands this is what i picture with this fragrance you guys i'm telling you my this gets my imagination going and when a fragrance takes me there like i'm intrigued this isn't something that i would really go for because the leather in here is pretty prominent okay and i i do get that patchouli in here too because it give it adds that like spiciness to this fragrance but i'm intrigued literally you guys i literally came up with a whole story for you guys you're welcome a1 you guys a freaking one still going you serious yeah had to give him a little spanking because he was being a bad boy interrupting my video no i'm just kidding you can take that out. Yes. No. <laughs> Not that part. The next fragrance that I have. Ooh. Okay, the next fragrance that I have is Narciso Rodriguez Rouge. Oh, wrong way. Narciso Rodriguez Rouge. I just think that this would be beautiful for a rainy day. I don't know. For some reason, you guys, I'm drawn to kind of like rose fragrances for rainy days because I just feel like rainy days i just picture them to be romantic you know and i feel like this fragrance right here is very romantic it's like oh it's like just red silk this is where my mind goes it's red silk soft delicate pow like slightly powdery sweetness okay i love this fragrance oh my goodness why don't i wear you more sorry i yell at my bottles from time to time okay this one like i said is silky it's beautiful let me read to you guys the notes because they're incredible I'm not really into like powdery silky fragrances then maybe maybe not maybe not for you but for me whoo Okay, you gotta love your powdery scents because this, this can pull a bit powdery. But top notes here are Iris and Bulgarian Rose. Beautiful. Okay, love those notes. Middle notes are Musk. Narciso's known for their Musk. Tuberose, Orange Blossom. Don't get those, honestly. Ignore those. Like, I don't, I don't get those at all. Base notes are Tonka Bean, Vanilla, white cedar can you guys see a pattern i love cedar in my fragrances like i love cedar love i don't know why i said it like that i love cedar it has white cedar extract and cedar so double the cedar sandalwood and vetiver and it's perfection what i have is from the house of guerlain okay i have never tried a guerlain that I don't love, okay? Except for one. <laughs> Except for one, which I'll talk about in another video. Mongerlan Bloom of Rose Eau de Parfum. Oh! This is good. This is good. You get the Mongerlan DNA, but with a really heavy dose of rose. And this is still fresh. And there's still this sweetness, but I can tolerate it, okay? I love, this This has become a love, okay? And I feel like in the rain, this will just be beautiful. Like, you'll just leave a beautiful scent bubble around you. So let me read to you guys the notes. 
hopefully I can make it before my camera dies. Bulgarian rose, pear, bergamot, hello. We've already said those are bomb notes. Turkish rose, lavender, jasmine sandback, vanilla sandalwood patchouli. What's not to love? Oh, and I want to give a shout out to Miss Opinionated Sense because she's the one that sold me this one. Or I bought it from her on her Mercari. But thanks, girl. I love it. I love it. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. I freaking love this fragrance. And I'm glad that I picked it up. It's so beautiful. It's so romantic. Perfect for rain, you guys. I'm telling you. For hot or humid rain, it would work either or last but not least you guys we have a new one to my collection she's brand new but she's not shy Mont Blanc signature clean effortless she doesn't have to try too hard and that's that's me I'm just kidding I do have to try too hard this one was not a blind buy for me you guys I had actually smelled this twice before I actually purchased it. So the first time that I actually smelled this beautiful, wonderful fragrance was at Nordstrom. And I sprayed it and I was like, wow, this is good. <laughs> I was like, this is really beautiful. It left a really beautiful lasting impression on me. And I'm like, like I knew I had to pick it up for me. You know, I'm like, okay, I know I had, to, I knew I had to pick it up. And then I just never did. I was like, eh, it's fine. Like, I can just get it whenever, you know, whatever other time. And so I smelled it again at another store. And I'm like, why don't I have this in my collection? And I happened to be with my cousins there. Cousin Ale. Okay. You already know. She's like, she's my, my frag head sister of sisters okay we're literally binded by blood she loved this one too she like she was just like wow i love that one she kept talking about how much she really enjoyed this one so this has notes right here top notes of clementine y'all know i love my citruses so check mark for that middle notes alang alang magnolia and peony apparently i have a lot of fragrances with magnolia and peony in them so I guess I like that. I actually, I have not that many with a Lang Lang, but some of them, some of them, they do have that a Lang Lang note. You get vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. Now, there's something in here that, that is a little screechy, and I think that that's the benzoin. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I would still wear this. I, I have worn it, okay? I've worn it twice already and I think that this would this one would just be perfect for hot humid rain okay and it would also be perfect for the cold rain I just think this one for any any occasion that I think that's why it's called signature because I would just wear it for anything anytime I just want to smell clean but with a bit of warmth and it's just a very inviting beautiful scent and there's a coziness to it. There's like an inviting nature to this one that I absolutely love. And I think that this one would be just perfect, perfect, perfect for the rain. So yeah, you guys, that completes this video. I think that these are the fragrances that are perfect for a rainy day. Um, let me know what you guys would choose for a rainy day. Or if you guys don't agree with anything on this list, let me know also down below. I want to know. I want to know why. Thank you so much for watching and... I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay smelling good. Bye.